What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode is going to be about repairing this 2018 MX-5 Global Cup car. And it is hammered, so stay tuned. We've got this 2018 Global Cup car loaded up on the trailer. Took a pretty good hit to the rear. We've got a lot of work to do to it, so let's get to the shop so we can get started on it. So when I got in the truck to go pick up this MX-5, it was 138. Drove all the way out to Road Atlanta and picked up the car, loaded it up, talked about the repair, left, stopped at the QT to get something to drink, and it is 138. So either I made really good time because it takes about an hour to drive to Road Atlanta, or I'm in some sort of time warp, or the clock's just broken. It's one of those three. All right, so we're headed back to the shop now. Once we get this thing there, we're gonna get it loaded on the frame machine, start fixing it. Right about now is when we're wishing we had a winch for this frame machine. And right about now is when we're realizing we put it up on the frame machine backwards and we gotta turn it around. So we've got it clamped down on the frame machine. You can see that frame rail has seen better days. We're gonna be replacing that one. Also replacing this quarter panel, tail light pocket, rear body panel, the floor, and the floor extensions, and the upper rail. So the first thing we've gotta do is gotta get this thing pulled out. The initial pulls we're gonna be putting on this car are gonna be this frame rail and this frame rail. They're both down and in, and when, when, what I like to think about when I'm pulling a car is basically you want to replicate the impact but in reverse, if that makes any sense. You basically, if the, if the impact was straight on, you want to pull straight back. If the impact was at an angle, it pushed everything down, you want to pull back everything back up. So you want to basically have the accident in reverse, if that Hope you can, hope you guys can grasp that. Basically, when we're pulling it, also there's a lot of sacrificial parts. Like this rear body panel is not awful, but when I put the floor in, it's got to go away to uh, get the floor in there. So there's going to be a lot of sacrificial parts also, and there's going to be some parts we're going to try to save. Like this quarter panel is down and it has a small buckle in the front, but when we're pulling it up, we're going to try to finesse it to where the quarter panel does not need to be replaced. So. We're gonna try all those things and we're gonna get on that right now. All right, so check this out. See how this chain is all in the same line? And see this little groove right here? If these are twisted, if this is not going in a straight line with that groove, it'll actually put a twist on the frame rail, whichever way the twist is going in the chain. So if you wanna pull straight, you wanna make sure all these, are, all these links are going in the same way. Now, if you're trying to put a twist in a frame rail, if you have a frame rail that's twisted like this and you want to pull it and, and get it straightened back, you'd want to put the kink opposite of the way you need to pull it. And that way when you're pulling it, it'll actually put a twist in the rail. Tips and tricks. So the next step is to 
start drilling off these panels. We're going to be drilling out this floor, this cover. We're going to drill it off and we're going to reuse it. So we're going to take our time and drill it off nice. But I need, I need it to come off to get the floor in. I also need it to come off so I can access the inside of that frame rail so I can make that frame rail look a lot nicer and make sure that it's straight where it needs to be. We did pull measurements on the bottom. Everything is where it's supposed to be. We're going to be drilling off panels. We might even save this tail light pocket since it came out so good. So that's the next step. We're going to be drilling off all these damaged parts. So as you can see, we cut off all the damage panels with a sawzall. And what that does is give us better access to the spot welds that we're drilling out. All right, so we got the top part of this rail off so we can hammer and dolly out any kinks in the rail while we're putting pressure on it. We can hook the chain to it and pull pressure and beat the, uh, beat the snot out of it, knock the, uh, the kinks out. We also dropped the cradle so we can uh, put a jack up here with a flat plate to give us something like a dolly to uh, hammer against. Well, as you can see, it looks like we got this quarter pulled out well enough to, to save it, so no need to replace this one. Ow. I feel it. When I was younger, I always wished I'd grow up and be somebody. From the looks of things, I, I think I should have been more specific. All right, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And you also hit that bell notification icon and it'll let you know when the next video is coming out. And on that next video, we're going to be welding on the new parts and getting this car off the frame machine and getting it ready for paint. And we'll see you guys on the next video. See ya!